Good morning, guys. It is, what is it, Monday? It's Monday. Um, I got two videos done for you yesterday and started on the third one. And I thought I would come in before I start back on the third video today and show you the finished results of the two videos now that everything's dry. Um, if you've watched the video yet, you'll know these are made with napkins and 6x6 six six watercolor paper. Um, everything's dry, nothing's sticky, so we're good to go. And I need to tack down that flower. It didn't stay down. But everything else looks good. Um, so anyway, the lighting in here is not going to be great today. It is very overcast and rainy, and we've got a lot of bad weather coming through here today and possibly tomorrow. So um, hopefully nothing major will happen, but you never know. It's pretty, it looks pretty bad. It looks like it's going to be pretty bad. Um, I keep getting warnings about being careful and staying inside and everything because possible tornadoes and stuff. So, <sighs> keep me in your thoughts. Okay, um, well, by the time you see this, it'll be over. <laughs> anyway, these are how, I, how they turned out, and I, I like them. They're very similar to what I did with the flop cards, the ones that we started and didn't I didn't like, so I went over them and created new cards. So it's very similar to that actually very very similar and that's the finished results okay and then the other page or the other video was a journal page that I sat down and just wanted to play and now it's dry so there's the end result for that just use some pinwheels and uh, acrylic paints and washi tape and my thumb and tissue paper, um, my neon color crayons. You'll have to watch the video to see what all I used, but anyway, that's the final outcome of that, all dry. So, okay, on to what we started yesterday. Um, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, yesterday. I came in with some tags. These are tags from clothing that hang off of your clothes when you buy them. And they're very sturdy and hard, so I decided that I wanted to create something with them. So we started off with the metallic purple Artist Loft and to me, it looks blue when I look at the, the screen, but maybe you're seeing purple. It's a metallic purple. And I've got an olive green in the Master's Touch acrylic and Craftsmart dark yellow. So we're just starting with that and see where we go. I've also got a stencil out here that I want to use that it's I haven't used yet. The Mini Fancy Feathers by... Uh, the crafters workshop and then some other things sitting up to the side so we'll see where this goes I'm going to get started this is going to be in fast forward because again I have company at the house and I don't want to disturb anybody so I'm just gonna fast forward what I do so that I'm not talking through the whole time okay I'll be back with you guys in a little while I'll say hello through the video or at the end or something and let you see the final product and we'll go from there okay have a good day
Okay guys, we're taking a little break. I'm having one of those days. It's the weather, I think. It's rainy, thundering, dark, and I'm just having trouble focusing today. So, I went and got a little bit of frou-frou coffee, and I'm gonna drink that, and I'm going to work on these. So far, they're, they're cute. They're not where I want them yet. I don't know where I want them is the problem. I just playing so um, I probably will Mod Podge over these so that the little flower petals will stay down um, but so far that's what we've got a little feather stencil and some washi tape and flowers on the back and I was gonna keep them simple but I'm not gonna stop until I'm happy with them so I don't know what they're gonna wind up like just thought I'd say hey to you guys. I'm going to go back into quiet mode <laughs> and work on these. So hope you guys are having a good day and I will be back with you in a little while. guys I wanted to talk about this for a minute um, I'm fixing to use Bic Whiteout 2-in-1 I have not used this one before I have used Whiteout before but not this particular uh, type the one I've used is more of a, a marker type this is more of a pen and I'm just gonna doodle a little bit and we'll see how it works out and I thought I would just share with you what exactly I'm doing, what it's for, and I don't know if it'll work or not. We'll see. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know. Let's get started on that. sure how I like it yet. I'm just getting used to how it works. You have to press down on the pen to let the, the ink flow out. So there's it's hard to control the amount that comes out. Um, I just don't have a good handle on it yet I guess. But so far uh, I don't know. I'm iffy on that. We'll see how I feel when it dries. And it's drying pretty quick. I think I may like it. Uh, I may put some some dots in the center of the flower flowers 
Okay, we'll let that dry. We'll just see what it looks like in a little bit. Go ahead and do this. You have to push down the pen a little bit. And I'm not squeezing the bottle, so I'm just pressing down and it's flowing out on its own. But see, the problem is this, is, this tag has texture, so it's not easy to flow the pen over. I don't know how to describe it. Today is a hard day for me. I'm struggling a little bit today, so if you'll bear, bear with me. I'm, I'm doing this to relieve some frustration and I think I'm feeling a little stressed today so this is one of my outlets and I think I think the stress is showing up in what I'm doing because it started last night when I started these tags I was I was feeling the tension I was feeling the stress and purple is not one of my I love purple I will buy purple things like you know I like purple clothes and socks and purses and you know things like that but purple to paint with and I don't seem to get along very well so I think that was my first reflection of what's going on I must have I reached for the purple that must be something that must mean something to me I don't know but, um, and this is just not feeling like it's smoothly flowing. It's not, I'm not, I feel like I'm struggling with it. And it, it may not be that I'm struggling with this. It just may be that I'm struggling with what's going on with me internally. I'm not trying to be philosophical here. I'm not one of those deep type people. It's just that I'm trying to explain why I feel like what I'm doing isn't producing what I had hoped or wanted to produce.
Okay, I've got the Mod Podge on, and I don't know if you can tell when you're watching, but on this particular card, right here, is a little tiny, tiny dot of turquoise, like a turquoise color. I don't know which color exactly. It came off my mat, or a brush, or something, I don't know, and it never went away, and I liked it, so I left it. But I keep seeing it, and I keep, every time I see it, it makes me feel good. And because this whole tag making thing right here is a stress relief and because that makes me feel good I want to add some of this onto the tags I'm not really sure how I'm going to incorporate it I've already sealed them and everything they're not quite dry they're still tacky but um, I was thinking dab a few dots on the back but on the front I thought I might do a little bit of a splatter and then they'd have to sit to dry so I'm so impatient I hate to wait for that kind of stuff to dry <laughs> but um, I could go get my India ink I may do that um, but I'll be back with in a minute we're gonna add some more to these we're gonna add this color and then we're going to add some string to the tag so that you can be it can be hung or used on something and I don't know what this is this is some decorative trim probably from Hobby Lobby purple black and it's it's a little thicker than a like a crochet thread or something but it'll be okay it'll work fine all right I'll be right back okay I decided that I'm gonna go with my India ink it's a Liquitex this is cerulean blue hue it's um, very vibrant much more vibrant than this um, desert turquoise I was going to use I think it'll look good on the card and the tag and it kind of goes, well, that's a little bland, but, ah, uh, you know, hmm. <laughs> Every time I see that, where'd it go? I keep losing it. <laughs> um, ooh, maybe I should stick with this. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will stick with this. I don't want it to overpower. There's a lot of stuff going on here. This, this purple metallic is very vibrant, and this might be too much of a comp competition for it so I'll stick with this okay we'll be back in a minute and I'll show you what I'll do dry for a little bit more but I wanted to tell you the the card that uh, got me to go ahead and put this turquoise on there this one right here this little fleck it's like a dried fleck and if I had known in advance that this is what I wanted to do if I had really thought of it sooner what I really would rather have done is taking taken paint without watering it down and put it on my mat or um, like uh, bubble wrap or something like that let it dry really good so that it's crumbly and then maybe put a little Mod Podge or something on my card and then stick my card on that and let it pull up the crumbles so then it would be like speckles and it would be solid paint color but I didn't think of that in advance because I hadn't planned on it so I just did the little sprinkling you know uh, water effect and I still like it. So, and that's what we've got so far. It's just a little bit of the color. It's not a lot. And as soon as it dries, I'll do the other side the same way. And I don't think I'll go over it with Mod Podge again because I don't think I need to. I'll judge after I finish the card. Ugh, I keep calling it a card. Tag. Oh, y'all forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Every video can't be great, I guess. Um, anyway, I, I don't know if I'll go over it with Mod Podge again or not, but... I will determine that after the tag is finished. But as soon as this dries, I'll flip it over, I'll do it again on the front, and then we'll put the uh, string on. And I'm now thinking that I want to veer away from this purple, and I want to veer toward this color in, this, in the tag um, 
strings. So while this is drying, I'm going to go look and see what else I have and see if maybe I can veer off that path a little bit. But if not, I'll stick with this. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay guys, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm still waiting for the speckles on top to dry, I took some crochet, uh, I was trying to figure out what kind of tag string I wanted, and I just feel like this is too much purple. I want to I wanna go away from this, so we're going to chuck that idea. And then I went and found this yarn that I have, and it's multicolored, it's got all the colors in it that I used, and I really like it together, but it's too much. There's a lot going on on, the, on this little tiny piece and because feathers represent ruffly and foofrui and stuff, I felt like this was too much even though I like the colors with it. So we're going to scrap that. So I went and I found some crochet thread and I have some thin stuff and I have some thicker stuff and this one's the thicker. And I tested out three piece, uh, three colors one is a Dilutions and it's a teal color and I sprayed it on the let's see if I can do this I sprayed it on the um, crochet thread and I like that okay and the other one is Distress Stain this one Shabby Shutters and I like that one and this one is Distress Stain Pill Paint and it's darker and I like that one too so we have those three, and I, because the teal was a last minute thing and I just wanted to add a little pop of color, I think this is too much. I think that it distracts from what I wanted to accomplish on the tag, so we're going to eliminate that, okay? I'm just telling you this because I want you to understand my thought process for what I'm doing, and you guys are probably over there going, no, 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 do something else. This is just like how I do, like, um, Sigrid Soto, Secret, hello Secret, she went through a process of making an ATC card, and I've only seen the one video, there's two more to come, she said, and I'm sitting there and I'm going, please use that little daisy flower, I love that little daisy flower, use that daisy flower, all the other stuff she was doing was cute, but that daisy flower was just perfect, <laughs> she finally went back to it, and I was like, yay, so anyway, I can't wait to see what you do in the other two videos, but I enjoyed that process, so that's why I want to share my process with you. And there's my little flower. I lost a little flower <laughs> while we were doing this, and there it is. Oh, well. Okay. Um, this one looks good, but it, it matches the, the feather quite a bit. But, again, I think the feather should speak for itself, and I think this sort of distracts from it. So we're going to eliminate the shabby shutters. And we're, I'm saving these because I'll use them in something else. Now, the peeled paint is a dark, richer color. I think it complements it. I think that it won't detract. It won't fight with anything. I think it will speak on its own, and it'll just be cute. So, unless I change my mind at the last minute, that's the route we're going. And all I did was I took string, and I'm just going to cover it with a distress stain. So that's what I'm going to do while we're continuing to wait for these to... To dry okay all right so I will probably um, put that in fast forward because I don't think you want to watch that but it's gonna pretend that that's how much I want for each tag and we're gonna create four and then it's extra okay okay let's get started
covered this most of the way. There are some spots that are showing, but I'm going to let that show because there's white in the card, um, off white in the card. <sighs> tag, 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 tag. Why can't I remember that? Because <laughs> um, I'm thinking cardstock, I guess, but it's heavy cardstock, but it's not really cardstock even. It's a, it's a tag that comes off your clothes. <laughs> Okay, so I left part of the um, string uncovered, not because I'm just doing it on purpose, but because it's, you know, taking a long time to soak it up, and I don't really care if it's completely soaked or not. So now I'm going to just dry it and finish drying the tags, and look what a mess. Isn't that yummy? Um, and then we'll put it together. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it's almost dry, not quite, but I had to tell you guys, I know this is crazy, but um, drying this, it smells like cupcakes. <laughs> yep, it smells like cupcakes. You know what that means. It means I want a cupcake, but I'm not going to eat one. I don't have any around anyway, so, and it'll pass. It'll pass. Anyway, it smells like cupcakes. Isn't that weird? Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, I thought I'd show you how I put this on. I know you all know how to do this, but I just bring two ends together, stick it through the hole, and it doesn't want to go easily, so you have to pull it through. Um, stick it through the hole, pull it like that, and tie a knot at the top. If it frays, I don't care. Just adds character. Then I just trim it a little bit. So, now you can hang it if you want to, and these are still not dry. This is still not dry. So, um, when it's sunny, I'll try to get some pictures, and let's see if I can find a way to show you these in a better light. I wonder if I have a white page in here. Okay, there's two of them. Be free and be true to yourself. This is important to me because when I'm stressed or when I'm feeling like things are closing in on me or things are out of control or whatever, I'm a control freak. I'll just admit it. Um, I'm not in control. I just like the illusion of things being in control. <laughs> so, but be true to yourself. That uh, when I come up here and I do art, and I create, whether it's good, bad, ugly, indifferent, whatever, it relieves some of that tension and some of that stress in my mind and it, it takes my mind someplace else and it gives me a peaceful, relaxing break. So that's important to me. And be free is important to me because I don't well, I like to feel confined. I don't like to feel like I'm being forced into a corner. Um, and creating art makes me feel like I have the ability to do what I want to do. So... I'm trying to keep this in frame. And then the back of these is just doodling and some flowers and some stamping and some washi tape. And so that's those two. And these two this is how they turned out. Again, same thing. Metallic purple. Um, very shiny metallic purple. Very pretty actually. Uh, same technique. Same thing. Have optimism is important to me because I try to see the positive side of things. I sometimes will dwell on the negative, and I think a lot of people have a tendency to do that when things are stressful. But there's always a positive, like the taxes and stuff won't last forever. It'll be over soon. Things will be back to normal, hopefully, um, until next year. But try to try to be positive. Positive positivity makes you feel better. It makes you have a better outlook on life. And, but there are days, you know, I'm only human, just like anybody else. There are days that things get to you. Like today, it's, you know, coming off a little bit of a stressful weekend and rain, 
which I love, but I can't get out and ride my bike and it's dark and you know, that kind of thing. So I'm looking at it like I love the thunderstorm. I love that part of it. That's the positive part. And the positive part is since I can't get out and ride my bike, I have extra time to art. I can get up here and create art instead of spending two hours out there, which, you know, there's trade-offs. So anyway, try to look at the positive. And the escape reality was really relevant to this one because this was my escape from reality. Reality is taxes are out there. Other issues are out there. Um, for some reason, they just sort of stacked up on me this time a little bit. But this is my escape. This makes me feel better. And it makes me happy. So I used that phrase. And the backs of these are the same. A little bit of doodling. And there you go. So these went from hanging on a garment to going into the trash and then being pulled out again. Because I thought, why am I throwing that away? I don't throw this stuff away and being created into some tags that I can now use. I can put it in a journal page or I can just hang them on my little wire dress form over there, which maybe I should take a picture of that and show you. Um, I can give them away. I can do something, anything, you know, just depends on what I feel like doing. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you don't mind me complaining a little bit. <laughs> Because of my my stress but um, everything will be okay everything will get better it always does there's always ups and downs I spend more uptime than downtime so that's always good okay have a great afternoon I'm gonna go and try to edit these videos for you and clean up my mess and get my hands cleaned up and grab some lunch and uh, if I can keep myself from creating more art oh I have a project I want to do with you guys that is going to consist of black and white napkins, and popcorn boxes, a popcorn box, but I don't know what I'm going to make yet. I only really have an idea of what I want to do with the box and what I want to do with the paper. I don't know how it's going to turn out and what direction it's going to go, but I thought I'd give you a little sneak preview that's sitting here. And that, of course, goes along with the ATCs that I need to do for my swap and the challenges that I'm thinking I need to get on. I need to do that today or tomorrow because the first is coming up fast. And... Um, a ton of other stuff, but um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and I will see y'all again soon, okay? I'm trying to get them in there so you can see them. And I'm sorry if the light's too glary. It's just that the light outside is um, forcing the light inside to do extra work. So these are really pretty. If I can get a, a good picture of them, I will, but probably I won't get a picture until it's sunny again. And that'll be, um, today's Monday, it'll be Wednesday, I think, because today and tomorrow is supposed to be really bad weather. Okay, I'm going. I'm stopping talking. I'm done. See you later. <laughs> Bye.